It's the 24th of February 2012 and I am finally officially opening my mini Michael Jackson Museum. I'm going to take you in behind this door to see what I've set up and before we go inside the door I'm going to show you very quickly how it all came together prior to this day. Why am I showing you down in my basement? Yeah, there's a pull-out clothesline on the wall and some old cupboards and my world map of where I've been on my trips. Whiteboard, workbench, cupboards all cleaned out, desk. Things are starting to look very different and shape up, aren't they Michael? Sniffing out everything, pieces of framing, electrical cabling. Everything's gone off the walls and the blocks have now been waterproofed and Temporary lights where the new neons are going to go. Building is almost finished and painting is still in process outside this room. Um, a door to go on, etc. But coming inside it, after three solid days hard work, painting is all finished. Here is neon fluorescent lights ready to go up and a desk two chairs and a whole lot of empty walls you can still see action is really taking place my dream is coming true here is the outside the floor here is the mass of stuff yet to still hang on the rest of the big the other side of the door we are now inside Michael's official room in Auckland I made this for you Michael because of all you have given me and the love I have for you so we'll go right down the room and here you can see some interesting items and packets, both new and old. We'll start above the door and go around some of my 12 inch vinyl collection, some of which are very rare, some of which are more common. There is no music added to this video to ensure that with copyright laws um, YouTube doesn't stop my video being seen in a variety of countries because I really want to share this museum with everybody else who loves Michael. Stepping back a little here, this section is dedicated to Michael tribute artists, some of my most beautiful friends in the world, the most caring, the most loving, and in the main all those ones that have given me autographs when I've met them. I can't put absolutely everybody on the wall in this room. You'll also see and amongst things, some very precious postcards. Photos. Along with some of the things that I have been doing myself, like visiting 100 North Carrollwood Drive not long after Michael passed and visiting 
his home in 2300 Jackson Street, Gary, Indiana. And here I am at the Thriller House. This is an official old $1 note with Michael on it. And I love this Neverland stamp. All beautifully framed here. Here's an album of my trip to Michael's birthday party. Another album of my trip to Julian's when I was fortunate and blessed enough to be allowed by my friends Darren and Martin to hold Michael's victory tour glove. And a book full of other autographed items like my dear friend Carlo, some magazines, books of pictures of Michael, CD, single CDs, CD sets, Some of my favorite ones are displayed on the shelves and some of the rarer ones and the rest are all on, on the other shelves. Well, here is the framed certificates of authenticity along with a photo of Michael actually signing that pick card. And here is a set of Michael Jackson pick cards that I bought years ago this wonderful souvenir singles pack Michael Jackson jigsaw puzzles beautiful poster I got in Hollywood this gorgeous Moonwalker Sega sign gift from my friend Carlo Riley the autograph guitar this is a close-up of the guitar on the wall in its case. You can see Michael's beautiful autograph here on the pickguard. And this absolutely stunning airbrushed painting of him, including all the beautiful gold on his jacket. Here I've got the very first autograph that I got from Tatiana Yvonne when um, I met her at Julian's auction. Now looking at the back end of the museum and I have here a very rare beautiful long scarf which is like a tapestry um, from the Dangerous Tour in Europe. And sitting on top of this cabinet is a beautiful black rhinestone history tour glove gift from my friends Darren and Martin. Uh, these are copies of Michael Jackson fedoras complete with his name written inside them. So now we go into this cabinet and I might have to open the glass to get rid of some reflection. And there's some beautiful crystal ornaments here. One from my friend Michael Kiss, which keeps changing color. And another one behind it. Michael Jackson perfumes. This fabulous autographed Moonwalk book. A rare and precious uh, statue of Michael given to me by my beautiful friend Shelley, history doll, my autograph dancing the dream, and a Billie Jean doll. Hologram Michael Jackson perfumes, other pieces of Michael Jackson jewelry, beautiful bad doll given to me by my daughter for Christmas. I should say one of my daughters at Christmas gave me that. Um, this beautiful pin from 
attending Michael's 45th birthday. This is a favorite and amongst a lot of friends the glove and hat from Gary, Indiana. I'm sure you would have seen the gold and silver porcelain statue before and there's the certificate that goes with it and my most precious doll of all the one and only one of a kind this is it and here is his certificate some more beautiful Michael jewelry and once again we have a black history glove memorabilia from what would have been Michael's This Is It concert other dolls signed history CD and this beautiful dangerous first printing from Julian's once again autographed by Michael coins, pins more unusual pieces down the bottom of the cabinet including a phone card of Michael and the Bandolier and Michael Jackson and over this side another beautiful Julian's rhinestone glove this wonderful autographed album cover and Grammy Award doll from Julian's as well very rare Neverland Ranch pin more pins more jewelry cigarette cases watch in front of the cabinet I have an actual cushion seat like a carry cushion for the famous Super Bowl uh, performance that Michael did in 1993 and beside that here is the actual program from the event that day these are very special to me I have this beautiful historical um, scarf or banner from 1997 history tour caps and Neverland ranch cap and wallet also calendars and down here some rare pieces of an actual AM FM radio cassette player with headphones Michael Jackson microphone Thriller View Master and a heap of magazines spread so that you can see some of the best of them. Many years ago I collected the Thriller album, the Bad album, the Dangerous album and the History album and also collected autographs of Michael and little caricatures and had them made up into a set of four framed items. got ebony we have my precious we are the world numbered officially 159 out of a thousand copies that were made and sold for charity this beautiful vibe autograph magazine box framed my stamp collections and there's some very very rare and valuable stamps and amongst these that I've collected over the years more official postcards another beautiful display made of stamps including some of you know the 3D pieces from the This Is It DVD set going up the left hand side of the museum and here are lots of precious books including on the front here one from Tatiana autographed again personally to me 
some amazing DVDs, music screen, screen, screeners they call them. There's a huge collection here of DVDs and videos which I've been collecting for many years. Some very rare and sought after ones. It's a little bit hard filming in here with the fluorescent tubing but here is a beautiful uh, autographed bad album which I got from Julian's auctions and had exquisitely framed up and even the frame is reflecting things on the other side of the room. My collection of official programs this is the most recognized of the memorial programs. This one here was sold to fans outside and I was very very lucky to acquire one of these. And this is from the official family memorial service. And I have two of those. These are two rare Captain EO buttons from the original opening of Captain EO in 1986 in which ever way you move they change colour and pattern and I've box framed them. More little bits and pieces, this beautiful guitar frame which I got in Chicago and though it might be offensive to some, the Krishna can this beautiful silk dangerous banner or scarf was made in Italy and given to me by my lovely friend Maria in Melbourne, Australia. Up here is a lot of my Michael Jackson books and other special items that I've got placed. And the most valuable of these is this beautiful American Masters. And I absolutely love this man and his magic with this 3D lenticular cover. And of course, not to mention Michael Jackson's treasures. Also on display is a heap of beautiful Julian's catalogs. And the latest of these, again, is personally signed to me by my friend Tatiana Yvonne. And this gorgeous little musical ornament from my friend Shelley in Boston and other beautiful pieces from um, my youngest daughter. And for you, Michael, there has to be a special place, a special picture. And this is it with his glasses with his glove to remember you and candles and a thriller clock. So my library has almost 200 books and magazines and unfortunately at this point in time there is no way of spreading them all out so that they can all be seen. I had thought of maybe later adding some um, mobile magazine racks that people can turn round and round and actually see more of them. Yes, this is your room, Michael, and it was a panic to get it finished, your home in Auckland. And it finally got finished on the 21st of December, just before everything got closed for Christmas. These two beautiful mirrors, again one given to me by my friend Maria in Melbourne and the other one I recently purchased from the UK. Captain EO poster. Some more books. Off the wall gatefold. And if I can film this without the fluorescent tube in it, uh, a beautifully autographed bad tour program
and it's not just Michael's um, autograph in this program there is also Cheryl Crow's twice and along with other very special people that were in that tour such as Greg uh, Phalanges, Rory Chaplin, Kaplan, Kevin Dorsey um, that signed a variety of things in this display. This absolutely beautiful oil painting of Michael in the bandolier which I love very much and once again we have more of the album collection and here's a very rare one this Liberian girl made in Holland autographed display which I bought in Australia another beautiful display which I got from Julian's autographed note paper by Michael and other items from Neverland including wristbands, a card and the official letter of invitation. This again is a very precious item autographed by both Michael and Elizabeth um, from Todd Mueller autographs from the 30th anniversary concert. My favorite Vibe magazine box framed and the autographs from the Music Awards and the Grammys have faded somewhat due to where they used to be hanging with a lot of daylight. This beautiful autograph from the Grammys by both Janet and Michael and this Scream one on uh, official pro promo. Very hard to see the autograph through here probably. And another beautiful autograph is this one here. And this one here which is autographed on the side. And from the history tour. Beautiful boxed set of history and ET lovely copies of oil paintings I bought in Las Vegas and these 3D lenticular pictures a bit hard probably to see with the fluorescent tubes but of course as you're moving they are moving in a more common Billy Jean one A beautiful oil painting from Israel and pencil drawing that my younger daughter gave me many years ago that was actually my first Michael gift from her and up here um, photos some of the photos that I personally took of Michael at his party my official wristband Michael up on the balcony and one program framed with his autograph and some pictures in it. Official letter from a competition for the Dangerous Tour and the stickers that go with it. And here my precious mouse pad from 2300 Jackson Street which I purchased at a stall outside. So we have got this far around the museum at the moment. This room is 40 foot long. I had this poster custom made of Michael wearing his belt at his birthday party and also this poster I had custom made of Michael once again wearing the belt when he was given the key to life my pin from the birthday party and my official tickets. I'd made this picture before I left of me and Michael together hoping 
that if I got close enough that I would be able to get him to sign it, but it didn't happen. But here I'm going to show you the most precious thing that I own of Michael's. Michael, this is the most precious and valuable thing I have of yours and the item that makes me feel the closest to you is your belt because I was there. I was there when you wore it. This absolutely beautiful belt that you loved so much that you wore it a second time uh, when you were given the key to Las Vegas about six weeks after your birthday. Here I have some videos, the videos that I took of the party or actually DVDs plus one that I purchased and up here my official ambassador jacket there was 50 of these jackets produced which Michael gave to all his ambassadors so I was fortunate enough to get one of these and that's um, on top of the red official t-shirt that I bought at his party looking at his belt from a distance and here I have a collection of tour jackets some very precious and special along with 78 t-shirts from all eras in this beautiful bad tour one sitting on the front here because I got this from Julian's auction series of bags sun visors that I bought many years ago this t-shirt which I managed to acquire in Hollywood in 2010 and just one of the many t-shirts that I bought when I went to 2300 Jackson. I have King of Pop Jandals and still mint and tagged white Michael Jackson LA gear shoes and also black and white Michael Jackson LA This gear is shoes. a carry bag from the Dangerous Tour and some more Michael Jackson mouse pads. A couple of spare memorial t-shirts still folded in their packets and a blanket um, with Michael in his Over the side a beautiful framed um, piece from Julian's auction of the rare history tour at the Aloha Stadium complete with the tickets and um, member passes etc all in, in there and there is um, the official display that came with it more tickets from a variety of tours and one of the most precious is this one I managed to find from Madison Square Gardens the 30th anniversary concert little mini this is it poster and Neverland stationery and these are copies of my own purchases for my th three times that I would have been at the O2 arena to see my in Michael's museum I also have this beautiful autograph uh, display from all the Bee Gees and I I think they can officially belong in here because Barry Gibb has been a beautiful friend to Michael along with this autograph which Elizabeth Taylor sent to me through her foundation. More concert tickets and a very very rare um, pack of Michael Jackson official wrapping paper and no, this isn't Michael, this is my friend Kenny Wiz. Poster. On this side, again, we have more albums 
all across the top. Some of these very rare, some of these more common. And there we are back to the corner where the ghost's picture disc. A Michael Jackson history tour flag from Europe and some more posters. And over here, my favorite stand-up of him, and he's currently wearing a lovely Michael Jackson shoulder bag that my younger daughter gave me at Christmas. Now, here we have beautiful curtains with um, Michael wearing the bandolier and other clothing from the bad tour and on this side of the door is a lot of very small pieces of memorabilia packaged. All the way down. Even Michael Jackson light. How about a Michael Jackson birthday card complete with CD in it? These gorgeous key rings. Well, we have just about been around the whole of the room and now I'd like to show you what is behind the curtains. Let's start over here with some canvases and clocks and bags. Post. Some beautiful and rare posters. This one and the tickets from Las Vegas Celebrates Michael Jackson, which I attended not long after he passed in 2009. And what do we have here? We have Michael's personal dangerous tour robe. Played on a mannequin so you can see the back of it. It's a thick black toweling and it has been well worn. And down here are some. And here it comes. I'm quite well known for the fact that I managed to purchase Michael's bandolier from the bad tour era. This is displayed on a mannequin on top of a custom made t-shirt of him actually wearing it. And behind it is a mirror so that you can see the back of it. these beautiful eagles in the metal. A lovely canvas picture of Michael in the bandolier and this beautiful poster given to me by my friend Marcus in Las Vegas. That's one of the ones that he gave me when I came there in 2009. Even a cushion of Michael in the scroll bandolier. poster. more canvases of Michael. And what have we got here? We have Michael's personal robe from the Victory Tour which came from the Dick Clark collection and this has been well worn and used by Michael. This one even has his name embroidered on it. Uh, it's made of black and white silk. It's heavily lined, well worn and has lots of body marks and makeup throughout it.
This is how the museum looked as at January 2012 and I'm sure as time goes on there will be further additions and further improvements. Thank you for coming with me to share in my love for Michael and the things that I have that belong to him that are surrounding me in this very special room that was built just for him. It's all for love and it's all for you, Michael.